This video will demonstrate the EMDG online application form process. Before you start your application form in the portal, you will need to read the Round 4 EMDG grant guidelines, download and familiarise yourself with the sample application form from our website, perhaps even pre-fill your responses in the sample application form where possible so that you can copy and paste them into the online form when it opens. Set up your digital identity and check if you can log into the portal. Prepare the supporting documents that are relevant to the tier you're applying for and watch the Get Ready to Apply for EMDG videos available from our website. All businesses and organisations must submit their EMDG application form through the EMDG online portal. The EMDG online portal login page is where you access the application form, see regular updates on the current and previous rounds, and host technical specifications and other relevant information. To access the application form, you need to log into the EMDG online portal by scrolling down to the middle of the page and logging in with your government digital ID. Your digital ID must be connected to the business's ABN that you will be applying for a grant. You can do that through the government's Relationship Management System, also known as RAN. If you do not have a digital ID, you will not be able to apply. So, to get your ID, visit the homepage of the EMDG portal and follow the links to the ATO's registration page. Getting your ID can take some time though. So our advice is to set up your digital ID well in advance of the round opening. To log in, enter your MyGov ID email address, then select Get Code. A four digit code will appear on the login screen. Log into your MyGov ID on your mobile device using your 10 character password fingerprint or face recognition. Enter or accept the four digital code in your MyGov ID app to continue. The EMDG online portal homepage is where you can access Austrade's export readiness test, start your new application form, access prior grant applications, grant agreements, and milestone reports. Check the status of your current application, as well as where you'll be able to access your grant agreement and lodge your milestone reports when they become available. The application form is divided into five tabs. Each tab must be completed before moving on to the next one. You do this by clicking on Save and Next at the bottom of each page. We recommend that you save often so that your work is never lost. You can do this by clicking on Save here. You can also save and exit to, if you want to come back to it later. However, this does not hold your place in the queue. Only submitted applications will be assessed in the order that they are received. Questions? that are mandatory have an asterisk. Validations and error messages will appear if questions are not completed correctly or you do not meet any eligibility requirement. Recheck your responses to ensure your application is complete and correct. You can also see which documents you need to upload. You can upload at each tab or you can wait until the end of the form. The choice is yours. Helpful information and guidance is available throughout the form in purple boxes. The Eligible Applicant tab is the first section of the application form. To start the application, you must read and accept the terms and conditions of use and confidentiality and privacy provisions. Simply click on the hyperlinks to access the information. This tab is divided into three sections. 
property selection and eligibility, applicant business details, applicant business structure. The T selection and eligibility section of the tab is where you select which T you are applying for and answer other key eligibility questions up front. The form has been designed to validate if you are eligible to receive a grant under the T you have selected. It checks your prior grant history to see if you have applied for EMDG before. It also has validations in place for other questions. As a tier three applicant, you must select up to 10 markets you intend to promote your eligible products. These markets must be new key markets as outlined in section 14 of the grant guidelines and ones that you have not previously exported to. State your annual turnover and provide us with two years of profit and loss statements and balance sheets. Tell us if you have the minimum capacity to spend up to $20,000 per financial year of your own funds. The applicant business details section has certain fields that are pre-filled from the ABR and ASIC websites. For example, the date of business commencement. It is in this section that you will declare if you are tax compliant and be prompted to provide us with evidence to support your declaration. The applicant business structure section is where you provide us the details of any related companies, name of all company directors and partners, and if you are First Nations organisation. The eligible tier tab has been designed to ask you questions that are specific to the tier that you have selected. It is within this tab that you'll answer a series of questions that will determine if you are eligible for the tier and be prompted to upload supporting documents to prove your eligibility. As a tier three applicant, you must demonstrate that you have not previously exported in the markets you intend to promote to. To demonstrate you have exported you need to tell us when your most recent export sale was, upload export evidence and list export sales by market. We only need you to provide your top 10 markets here and they must be different to the key markets that you are intending to, to promote to. You will need to tell us if you're seeking to expand to new markets, if you're making a strategic shift in the marketing of your eligible products, and explain how you have a designated connection to your eligible products. The plan to market and eligible expenses tab requires attention to detail. This tab is divided into three sections, plan to market, eligible expenses, optional questions. The plan to market section is where you provide unique, high quality and specific responses to your business. All questions are mandatory. They must be completed with sufficient detail and must directly relate to your planned export promotional activities. You cannot submit plan to market responses that are copied from another business or submit generic marketing plan responses. If you do, your application will be deemed ineligible. Your responses in the plan to market section can be up to 3000 characters in length or approximately 500 words. If you have pre-prepared your response, you can copy and paste your response in the text box. The planned eligible expenditure table is a mandatory section that must be completed. To do this, 
select the category or categories that you plan to spend the grant money on and fill in the respective amounts. The total planned eligible expenditure will be automatically calculated in the table as the sum of the amounts you entered for each planned eligible expenditure category. It cannot be more than double the maximum grant amount, that is $160,000 for the tier, and cannot be less than $40,000 per financial year. The total grant amount sought is an amount that you enter. You tell us how much you want to receive each financial year. The total grant amount sought per financial year is to be calculated as 50% of your planned eligible expenditure up to the maximum grant amount per tier, that is $80,000, and cannot be less than $20,000 per financial year. You can only receive a grant for eligible expenditure and you must match the total grant amount sought with your own funds. You must provide a copy of your current bank statement and bank account transactions with your application to demonstrate that you have at least $20,000 per financial year of your own funds to match the minimum grant of $20,000 per financial year. Please double check your total grant amount sought and ensure that you can match the grant with your own funds. The table has system validations and error messages will come up if you enter amounts greater than the amounts allowed. You must declare that you have a minimum of $20,000 per financial year to match the minimum grant amount of $20,000. You can match the total grant amount sought with your own funds. You understand that if you spend less than $20,000, you will not receive a grant payment. And you will not spend the grant funding on ineligible expenses. The last section of this tab is the optional questions. Your responses to the following questions are optional. Answering these questions will help Austrade understand your business's overall export readiness as outlined in Austrade's Go Global Toolkit and potentially offer other trade services. Remember to review your responses before you click on Save and Next. To be eligible for a grant, you must have an eligible product. It is in this tab that you select and identify the eligible product you are seeking to export or promote to overseas buyers. You can select multiple categories of eligible products. You'll be asked to provide a comprehensive description, remembering you can copy and paste your pre-prepared response, followed by answering a series of questions relevant to your product. If you're promoting goods made outside of Australia, or services other than tourism services, you'll be required to upload the respective submissions. Templates for these submissions can be found on our website and it is strongly recommended that you prepare and complete these prior to the round opening. The application finalisation tab is the final section of the application form. It is in this tab that you provide all supporting documentation if you haven't done so in previous tabs. The bank account details of your business or organisation so we know where to pay your grant. The details of the primary contact person. This person will be responsible for accepting the grant agreement. Your website details or social media channel link.
and a declaration that you must read, acknowledge, understand and accept by entering your details. Lastly, you'll be asked to acknowledge that Austrade does not accept incomplete applications and that you have re reviewed your application for completeness. To review your application, simply go back to the first tab and check each of your responses and click Save and Next at the end of each page until you get back to this tab where you can click on the Submit button. Upon clicking on the Submit button, you'll be directed to the Application Confirmation page. This will confirm that your application has been successfully submitted and you can download a copy of your application form as a PDF from here. Be sure to check your inbox and spam folder for an email that provides you with details on your successful application submission. If you do not receive an email within two hours of submitting your application, please contact EMDG Help immediately. Should you require any technical assistance whilst completing the application, please contact EMDG Help on 132878 or email us at emdg.help at austrade.gov.au.